Hey guys, this is Ian from AthleticBodySystem.com on CapitalSixPack.com, my personal blog. Today I want to run through mountain climbers with you. You'll see these in a lot of the Athletic Body System program workouts. And I'm going to go through regular mountain climbers, crossover mountain climbers, some people refer to them as grasshoppers. Then we're going to go into Spider-Man climbs, which is like a grounded lunge variation. And then we'll do mountain jumpers. Alright, so again, these exercises are excellent for your core, full body abdominal exercises, also good for hip mobility. So, basic uh, mountain climber variation, you're going to assume the push up position. I refer to this as the push up up position. This would be the push up bottom position. So, it's basically at the top of a push up. Alright, so you want your body in a straight line, abs brace nice and tight. You don't want your hips to sag, but you don't want them pipe in the air. So this position right here, as you can see, a straight line down through here. So from here, I'm going to drive my knee towards my elbow. And alternate sides. Keeping the abs brace tight as you pull forward. So that's your basic mountain climber. Again, these are good for if you do like a, a circuit routine for your warm up on your resistance training days or actually in actual circuits themselves. Metabolic fat loss circuits. Excellent doing that for 30 seconds up to a minute. Alright, so that was your basic mountain climber. Next one then, what you're going to do, I'm trying to see what angle is best. If I go this way, I'll go this way. I'll go this way. I'm trying to get a good angle here for you. So, assume the exact same position. As you can see, body in a straight line. And these are crossover mountain climbers. So instead of bringing the knee directly forward, I'm going to bring this knee over towards the opposite knee. Alternating sides again just as in the basic version. Now what some people like to do is actually bring the foot outside the opposite hand. So it would be like this. Alright, so that's more of a, what they call a grasshopper variation. Bring the foot outside the opposite hand. With these as well, you can do combos, so you can do push-up mountain climbers. So, assume your push-up position. Do your push-up and mountain climb. So as you can see, you do one push-up, one side mountain climber, one push-up, and then form the mountain climber on the opposite side of the body. Again, you can do these with the crossover variation. Alright, so you can see how you can add them in. A little bit of variation on your, on your regular push-up. Okay, so next one we're going to move on to is this Spider-Man climb. Like I said, it's, it's basically like forming a lunge with your hands grounded. So you're going to assume your push up position, your mountain climber start position, body in a straight line, eyes focus down slightly out in front of you, and then from here, you're going to bring the foot outside the hand. So basically, I'm just going to come out of this position. What will happen, the shin will be in a vertical position, and basically, it's going to run pretty much parallel with the arm. Okay? Now if you're someone that doesn't have good hip mobility or if you have what we call an Ireland and Ned Kelly, big fat belly, that weight, that excess weight around your midsection, it's gonna hinder your movement pattern. So you might be able to get the foot up as far. So if you're down in this position, you might have to just come to here. I'll show you on this side. Alright? So here is roughly where we want the ID to get to. Keep a good body position. My position is probably not great because I'm turning to the camera. So again, like I said, if you don't have great hip mobility 
or to have excess weight in the midsection restricting your range of motion. Here is fine. Okay? And don't feel like you always have to get it up so far. The same with the regular um, mountain climbers. People always feel like when they hear, you know, drive your knee towards the elbow or drive your knee towards the chest, they actually need to have it into your chest or into your elbow. Alright? It's just that's the direction you're moving towards. So like I said on this one, Spider-Man climb, like it lands on the ground. You're gonna come here, alternate sides. Okay, nice tempo on that one. Good one for hip mobility. Good one for the legs. Actually one I often superset when I'm doing deadlifts, so I'll do a set of deadlifts and then I'll do Spider-Man climbs. Or sometimes also killer if you do um alternate split squat jumps and pair it with that uh, Spider-Man climb. It's a good combo to pair it together. Alright, so on to the last one then, mountain jumpers. I'll go this way to demonstrate. So you just saw the Spider-Man climb with the, the foot coming outside the hand. This one you're going to assume a push-up position and you're going to jump both feet, both feet forward so that the feet land outside the hand. Again, this one is advanced so if you can't do a Spider-Man climb with full range of motion, you shouldn't be doing this one. So, assume my position, body in a straight line, make sure those hips aren't sagging, the hips aren't tight, straight line position, abs nice and tight forward to this position all right and jump them back so forward and back forward and back all right so i refer to them as uh, mountain jumpers what you can do now again as you can see you're you're down on your on your wrist what i often like to do is actually make a fist with my thumb up and go into this position or I'll perform them with holding on to dumbbells or if you have some of those push-up panels just hold on to them so you get more of a straight line position here on the wrist just gives a little bit of protection you know if you're doing a lot of work with the hands on the ground the wrist in this position it can take a toll on your hands on your wrist sorry alright so that's this week's abs exercise of the week from the AthleticBodySystem.com Stay tuned next week, we'll have more coming to you. So go ahead, check out the website at AthleticBodySystem.com for more ad workouts.